Hi guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm April and I talk about all things skincare, beauty. If you're looking for a skincare big sister, I'm your girl. So go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button because you know you want to join the family. If you're not joining the family, you're missing out. And tell your friends and family while you're at it, okay? As you guys can tell, we're going to be talking about MSM. I did a little poll on my community page and asked you guys what videos you guys would want to see from me. A lot of you guys wanted me to talk about MSM on hair. And I've been seeing it all over social media, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere. Like a lot of girls are seeing their hair is doing 180 by using MSM. It's insane, okay? And I am just shocked that I'm now just finding out about these viral products. So I had to do my little deep dive into it. I had to figure out why is this product so popular? What is this MSM thing? So believe it or not, MSM is actually naturally found in the body. It's actually an anti-inflammatory antioxidant. It helps to keep your bones and joints really healthy. Like anything, as you get older, a lot of these compounds start to decline in the body and so does MSM. Originally, people used MSM for their joint pain or osteoporosis or arthritis because it will help relieve the joint pain. But these patients started to notice that their hair would get healthier and their nails healthier so kind of sparked the movement of using msm for hair nails and all the things that brings me to does msm actually work so it does indirectly and i say that because msm has sulfur so the s stands for sulfur the chemical name is actually dimethyl sulfone or you see it as methyl sulfonyl methane it basically donates sulfur to the hair follicles so the strongest bond you see in the hair is disulfide bonds these are the bonds that get damaged when you bleach your hair or relax your hair these bonds are really really strong and it takes a lot for them to break but like anything they get weaker as you get older or just the normal wear and tear with hair it just gets weaker so what msm does indirectly is it donates the sulfur in msm to the hair strands or the keratin in the hair and it basically helps this keratin cells stick together therefore increasing hair growth over time and having more luscious healthy shiny hair so that's basically what is happening there's been studies that have been done actually on msm to see if it really does work and we're going to talk about two of them today the first study was actually done on mice that had alopecia. The study was actually done in combination with magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. So magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is actually really good for hair as well. And that's because magnesium actually helps the hair follicles in your hair to be stronger. So if your hair follicles are weak, your hair is going to be weak and brittle. In tandem with the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, they administered 1%, 5%, and 10% MSM. And at the end of this study, they noticed the mice that had 10% MSM actually had more fuller hair than the mice that only got 1% MSM. They all still saw pretty relative results, but there was a huge difference in the mice that had the 10% MSM. Basically, the more dosage of MSM they got in tandem with the MAP, the more results they got. The second study was done on humans. It was a 63 group of people. One of them got one gram of MSM, the other group got three grams of MSM. At the end of the study, the people who had the three grams of MSM, basically 3,000 milligrams of MSM, saw huge improvements in the volume of their hair. They even reported better shine in their hair, just more healthier hair overall than the group that had the one gram, 1,000 milligram MSM. So basically, it's been concluded that MSM at a higher dosage gives you better results. Now, because it's not an FDA approved drug for hair or hair growth like minoxidil or renesteride, the FDA doesn't have a set dosage for it. But ultimately, the higher dosage MSM you take, the better results you're going to get. But yeah, I hope that helps cover any confusion around MSM. Are you willing to try it? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat about MSM. I'm actually really interested in seeing what you guys think about MSM. I've never tried it before. I don't know that I'm going to try it just because MSM does come in a lot of the food that we eat. MSM is actually in the coffee that you're drinking every day. If you're a coffee drinker like me, MSM is also in a lot of vegetables and foods that we're also consuming on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'd rather get my MSM content from there versus getting it from a supplement because... I just I'm never compliant when it comes to just medicine in general. But yeah, that's just me. Let me know what you think. If you're going to give it a try, let me know. And let me know your general thoughts about MSM. I think that's going to be it for this video. Really quick, really short video to chat about MSM. If you enjoyed the video and found it valuable, please like the video so it gets recommended to more people. Subscribe and join the family. We're here every week talking about all things beauty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! to say